Hi, I'm Krista. Hi, I'm Lisa. And we're Farmhouse Rose Co. And today we're going to show you our favorite crafting supplies. And you can let us know in a comment down below what your favorite crafting supplies is. And let us know if you want to see more videos like this one. Number one is chalk paint. Number two is acrylic paint. If you're curious what the difference is between chalk paint and acrylic paint, we'll break it down of like what we like to use chalk and acrylic paint for. We're gonna start with chalk paint. So chalk paint, we use it if we want something that, to have like better coverage. And also if you wanna distress, like it says on the bottle here that you should wait two hours between coats and then you can distress it using sandpaper which we'll talk about later on in the video. And next we have acrylic paint. This is a matte acrylic paint. That's what the one we tend to use. It doesn't have, I don't think, as good a coverage as chalk paint. Sometimes you can use one coat of chalk paint and get pretty good coverage. The only downfall, I think, on chalk paint, sometimes it's a little harder to find. And the acrylic paints definitely have more colors. Mm -hmm. Number three, Mod Podge. So there are a lot of different types of Mod Podge. We have uh, matte and fabric Mod Podge here, but there's also a photo transfer one, one that's dishwasher safe, glossy, satin finish, uh, photo transfer. Mm -hmm. Did I say that already? No, I don't okay. think so. Photo transfer. <laughs> and uh, you can find them most places. You, they have little bottles of the matte finish at Dollar Tree. They have them at Walmart, Joann's, Hobby Lobby, any craft store. And I think them being non-toxic is a real, a real good point. It's definitely yeah. an essential mm -hmm. crafting supply for us. For sure. They're so versatile too. Like you can use them for applying scrapbook paper. You can use it for faux snow or glitter. You can put it on a surface before you use a Sharpie to keep it from bleeding through. You can use it on painted surfaces, unpainted surfaces. It's very, very versatile. Yeah, very versatile. And it's really cool because it's a water-based glue sealer and finish. So it has all of that in one uh, product. Right. Number four is wood glue. Okay, we got wood glue, number four. And we use this a lot. We tend to do a lot of wood projects. Mm -hmm. And we use it with a mixture of wood glue and hot glue. The hot glue gives it a kind of like an instant hold, but when you add the wood glue to it, it makes it more uh, durable. durable, so it lasts longer. We usually get it from Walmart, but they also have it at most home improvement stores like Lowe's, Home Depot, Menards, or any craft store. Hmm. Number five is this brush, which you can use a variety of brushes, but we tend to use a bristle or a chip brush for distressing or painting um, any surface. Hmm. There's plenty of brushes you can use for different projects. There's a foam brush, the chip brush, and then also this is like a craft brush that we use for like acrylic paintings as well. So they're very pretty versatile. Next, we're gonna talk about cutting tools. Number six, we got a rotary cutter. Number seven, utility knife. And number eight, good old-fashioned scissors. So number six is kind of related to number nine, which is a cutting mat. You definitely want to use a rotary cutter with the cutting mat because it is very sharp. So you want to be uh, cautious of that. And then also it has a guard on it. So make sure to have the guard on when you're not using it. Number 10, hot glue guns. So we actually have two different sizes of hot glue guns here, and we have our glue sticks. We use a multi-purpose uh, glue stick, but they also have fabric ones and different kinds that you could buy. And it's one of our favorite tools. I mean, we use it for everything, like from 
gluing on different embellishments to gluing things together. It's kind of a quicker glue, so it kind of has like a quick drying time rather than using like wood glue, which takes a little longer. But wood glue is more durable. So if you want something that dries quicker, definitely go with the hot glue gun. Another important thing to make sure that you uh, have when you get a hot glue gun is a stand because um, you do not realize the importance of like, you don't want it like falling over because you don't want the glue like burning something on the table. So definitely make sure you have a stand. I think they're detachable. They are. Yeah, they're, they're detachable so you can just take it off like this. A little smaller glue stick as mm -hmm. the big one takes a fatter one. And to hold our glue sticks, mm -hmm. We use coffee creamer and we just mm -hmm. took our coffee creamer bottles and cleaned them out and then we cut them and made them into little glue stick holders. So it's kind of nice to repurpose. We do that with a lot of our different craft things. So mm -hmm. that way you're saving money, you're reducing the amount of litter and everything. So it's kind of nice to repurpose things. Number 11 is a scraper. So you can use this for a lot of different things. Um, one thing that we use it for a lot is like, we get signs from Dollar Tree mm -hmm. and they have uh, different pieces that we wanna take off. Like I did a snowman and we took off the scarves. Okay, okay. so number 12 are these wire cutters. So pretty much we use them for floral picks if we wanna get any beads or flowers or leaves off it to use for different projects for embellishments. We've even used them for uh, small dowel ride, mm -hmm. uh, paint sticks, craft uh, sticks. Craft sticks. There's a lot of things that, besides wire, that you can cut with them. Like I did a sled, for example, and we use the wire cutters to kind of create the like rounded shape of the sled or the sled. runners of the sled, yeah. so it kind of looked more realistic. Number thirteen is our ruler here. This is one that we I think we just got. You can get them at Dollar Tree or mm -hmm. Walmart, any craft store, anything like that. But we, it's pretty self-explanatory, I guess. But it's good to have your measurements uh, lined up because otherwise it's going to be crooked and then it's chaos. <laughs> and just having a straight edge, whether you're going to score something. Mm -hmm. Number 14, we have a staple gun. I mean, we use it from anywhere from attaching hangers for signs, attaching things to the back of pictures. We actually had a project we did recently. We took a canvas and took out the like stretch fabric off of it and it was a little like wobbly. Mm -hmm. So we used the staple to kind of, staple gun to make it more sturdy. Reinforce the corner. Number 15 are these clamps. We actually got these from Dollar Tree. I think they came in a pack of four or five. Yeah. And you can just use them to kind of hold different things together. Like if you're doing a frame or something, you could just clip them right on there and it keeps things from moving so they're like straight. Number 16 is sandpaper. We got this one at Walmart. I think it was $1.47 for six sheets, but they also have it at Dollar Tree. We use this for, uh, for everything. everything, to sand off edges on wood that we've cut, mm -hmm. to take glitter off some of the Dollar Tree stuff mm -hmm. that we don't want to have the glitter on. Um, we've also used it for distressing and if you uh, do scrapbook paper with Mod Podge, you put the Mod Podge on there, scrapbook paper, and once it dries, if you have like an extra edge, you can mm -hmm. sand off the edge using the sandpaper. Number 17 is a dabber. So we use this mainly for stencils because when you use brushes, it tends to bleed through the stencil and the dabber, it like absorbs the paint. When you're pressing down on the stencil, the mm -hmm. paint's kind of going right on top where if you're brushing back and forth with a brush, mm -hmm. that can allow the paint to seep underneath the stencil and yeah. not come out as clear as you would want it to come out. Next, we're gonna talk about the miter box. I use this one a lot for sure. Mm -hmm. um, I cut a lot of paint sticks with it. 
dowel rod. We use round dowel rod and square dowel rod. Mm -hmm. And it's pretty easy to use. It has your straight cuts, your angles, and it has an edge on it where you just hook it onto the edge of the table. It kind of keeps it in place. And you just lay your piece of wood in there, your paint stick, dowel rod, whatever you're using, and then whatever angle you want. And it becomes pretty easy. And also it has this spot right here where you can put your see if you can see it. You can put your thumb here to hold the wood in place. Yeah. Just be cautious of, you know, it's sharp. <laughs> it's sharp. <laughs> Next, we're going to talk about is E6000. Mm -hmm. If you are making something that you want a more permanent hold, we've used this on glass, wood, ceramic stuff. Mm -hmm. And we usually use it with a mixture of the E6000 and hot glue. And then the hot glue is going to make you have a hold that's like right now, but as the E6000 sets, it's going to give you a more permanent hold where your craft or whatever you're making isn't going to fall apart. Mm -hmm. We mainly use the drill to create pilot holes so the wood doesn't split when we add the screws into the wood. Mm -hmm. This is just the supplies that works for us. Mm -hmm. It's stuff we use in most of our projects, but if there's other things that work for you as well, you can leave them in the comments down below. We're always open to learning about different tools that might make it easier for doing different projects. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna to talk to you about some of the items that you can get at Dollar Tree mm -hmm. that's a dollar a piece and it makes it really inexpensive to make crafts or, or whatever you may, you know, be inspired mm -hmm. to make. Um, one of the first things I thought was really neat was this rotary cutter and if anybody's ever looked at rotary cutters at Joann's or Hobby Lobby I mean they can be pretty expensive and it's pretty cool that you can get one for a dollar at Dollar Tree. Yes another great thing we found at Dollar Tree and like the automotive hardware like section of it is the sandpaper. It's kind of a finer grit but it does a really good job at helping to distress or smooth any surfaces or anything like that. And then talking about smoother surfaces, we have this lightweight spackling that was only a dollar, you know, from, from there. But it's really good at filling holes, like in the signs. Like if there's any spots, like you take out uh, staples or anything like that, that the hangers are on. And you can use the sandpaper to kind of smooth over the spackling. Mm -hmm. Another really uh, good product, I think that uh... Is a really good price at Dollar Tree is Mod Podge mm -hmm. and it's the matte Mod Podge and that's the one we usually use but for a dollar you just really can't beat it. It's good for so many so many projects. Plus it's really nice that it comes in a squeeze bottle mm -hmm. so you're able to just kind of apply it and squeeze it on there. And a lot of times we take uh, our bigger bottles of Mod Podge and we'll refill these because it's just easier to use mm -hmm. to apply. To a lot of for projects. sure. Another great find at Dollar Tree is acrylic paint. Now this is actually some apple barrel paint we got from Walmart, but they do have some really great acrylic paint there that if you want to check it out, it comes in a bunch of different colors mm -hmm. and it's actually a pretty decent sized container for a dollar. And definitely another thing to check out at Dollar Tree would be in their tool section. You can get wire cutters. These are not from the <laughs> there but you can get them there you can get scrapers there we use scraper and wire cutters a lot another great find a dollar tree are their brushes mm -hmm. now you can get like a really big pack of foam brushes depending on the size that you get mm -hmm. but they have like like medium large and small and those are really good uh to apply like acrylic paint chalk paint any kind of paint you yeah. Even Mod Podge, they're good for Mod Podge. Yes, they're too. really good for Mod Podge because they're like a really smooth surface as opposed to like a bristle brush, which kind of leaves streaks sometimes. Mm -hmm. And speaking of bristle brushes, they have really good ones there too. Mm -hmm. And for a dollar, I mean, they're pretty good quality. And they're really good to use for chalk paint or acrylic paint. We use them a lot for trying to do like the background of something. And they also have really, really good dabbers. 
which we use a lot for stencils as we mentioned before mm -hmm. and a couple more items that you can also get at dollar tree is scissors mm -hmm. scissors are always good to have and we just love these little clips i think they come in a pack of uh five or six for a dollar i mean you can't beat it and we we use them for all kinds of things and they're they're very sturdy very good mm -hmm. quality Thanks for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed seeing our top 20 favorite crafting supplies. We hope mm. you gain something of value or learn something new. And if you have any questions about any of the supplies, leave it in the comments down below. We are by no means a professional. These are just the things that we like to use when we get inspired to create. Leave a comment down below and let us know what was your favorite out of our crafting supplies or if there's any items that you would like to share that you think would make it easier for crafting. We're always open to any suggestions or ideas. We always love to learn new things. All the supplies we're listing and mentioning in this video are from Dollar Tree, any home improvement store, Walmart, or any craft store. Mm -hmm. And once again, thank you for watching. And if you're already subscribed, thank you for your support. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please consider doing so. Every subscriber, comment, and like helps our channel to grow and for YouTube to notice us a little bit more. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. Talk to you guys next time. Bye for now. Hi, I'm Krista, and Lisa's over there, and we're at Farmhouse Rose Say words. Dabber. Dabber. <laughs>